Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Mmm, a real treat. I'm telling you, it surely is. It's from the Duck Rabbit Brewing Company. They're located in Farmville, North Carolina, and this is the Wee Heavy Scotch Ale. Oh, it's not for lightweights. It checks in at 8% alcohol by volume. Now, we're not going to worry about this beer's age too much, but on the side of the bottle here, it has notched the best before date. It's just not notched out. <laughs> Doesn't do us any good, baby. <laughs> Now, the age of these beers, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, all that much. It's not like an IPA where you're going to worry about the hops diminishing over time. Yeah, there's our bottle cap. I may have one of these up on the fridge, but it's doubtful. Yeah, I sold, uh, sold my collection of bottle caps some time ago on eBay. Got a good price for them, too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out. Definitely don't want to pour these straight in. You'll have uh, an overload of foam, unless that's what you're seeking. <laughs> if, if that's what you're seeking, pour it straight in, baby. Over here at the scant amount of daylight that we have coming in the room. Oh, that's a very beautiful color. Oh, my goodness gracious. Isn't that lovely? It's like a ruby color. Yeah, it's like a ruby color. But if we put it over here away from the daylight, well, you can still see a little bit of ruby. At least I can. But you at home, it just looked D-A-R-K dark, baby. Made a small amount of head. It could have been much bigger if we'd have poured it straight in, but we're not worried about that. Yeah, a beige colored head, by the way, too. Ooh-wee. <laughs> There's a lot of lovely malts in here, and I am detecting some caramel, mmm, some caramel malt, baby. Slightly sweet smelling, but once we get the taste, it'll change, no doubt. Hey, we're going to thank the brewers there at Duck Rabbit Brewery in North Carolina for all the hard work they do and each and every batch of beer that they produce, no doubt about that. Cheers to them. Cheers to you. Ooh, that's a wee bit heavy. <laughs> mm, ooh, wee. <laughs> you definitely pick up the alcohol in this, but it's not overbearing. Ooh, that, that is hitting the spot right now. I feel it going down. Just lovely. Oh, yeah. I could have done with this warming up a little bit more, but that's why I use this type of glass, because if you hold the glass the way it's designed, the heat transfer from your body will go into the beer and it'll warm it up much quicker, no doubt about it. Or if you don't want to hold the glass that way, you can just go ahead and cup it. Either way, heat transfer is going to go ahead and warm this beer up in a few minutes and it's not going to be a big deal. But even though this beer is a little on the cool side, it still has some lovely toffee and caramel flavors to it. It has, it has a little bit of a bitterness to it, which is good, because sometimes you can get one of these beers, and it's sweet. It's just sweet all the way through. This one has a nice little bitter finish to it. Mm, man. Reminiscent of a barley wine. Now, this brewery does make an excellent barley wine. Mmm. Duck Rabbit out of North Carolina. You don't see them a whole lot around these parts up here in Ohio. So when I do see one, I grab it. Now, they were selling them as singles in the store I was in. I didn't see a six-pack. If I had seen a six-pack or a four-pack, I would have picked it up, even though a little on the pricey side. These are damn good beers. I've never had a beer from Duck Rabbit that was iffy. Uh, these, these are killer beers. These are always killer beers. Yeah, that aroma is going to come through even uh, more in a few more minutes, but I'm not going to keep you on here that long. But uh, as is, this is still killer. Oh, man. You can pair this with a variety of foods, but I like to just sit and sip 
and savor. The three S's, sit, sip, savor. Be a very good digestive after a good steak. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wee. That flavor just lingers on your palate. It's quite lovely indeed. I would describe this as a full-bodied beer, not uh, highly carbonated at all. Mm, man. But you're going to have to like that coffee and caramel. You're going to have to like those uh, strong malts in there. And then, again, it has a, a very dry, bitter finish to it. Not like an IPA dry and bitter, but it's a, uh, a very dry, bitter finish on here. So you're going to have to like that as well. Very well balanced between the sweetness and the bitterness. Very good job. Well, I'm going to sit here, sip on this, and enjoy it, my friends. And I'm going to tell you, life is short. Be happy. Drink great craft beers like this one right here from Duck Rabbit. Why waste your time on that macro? <laughs> Cheers to that, baby.